Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicity here and this is the video about the meaning of letting go and there are two aspects of letting go. One is the emotional letting go, another is physically letting go. What do I mean by that? You know, just because physically you get yourself out of a situation, you leave a committed relationship or you leave a work environment, doesn't mean that emotionally you are able to let go. Doesn't mean that emotionally you are not attached to a certain person or a certain situation. The same goes to just because physically you are in a situation or in, in a community relationship doesn't mean that emotionally you cannot let go. What do I mean by that? You know, for example, we cannot choose our parents and, uh, you know, we sometimes cannot choose uh, or change the habits that we find in our partners or boyfriend or girlfriend and you are still in a relationship and emotionally actually if you understand love them you just let go emotionally let go of your emotional attachment to the little habits that they have maybe uh, you understand that your spouse or boyfriend girlfriend has the same core value as yours you know, always in a relationship, the core values means a lot to you. That if there's no very huge clash of the um, core values between the two of you, and just a little bit of habit, and you accept that, emotionally you are able to accept that, and then you let go of the imperfections, and you no longer feel the need to to nag them, to change them, then emotionally you are able to let go yet stay in a very healthy and strong committed relationship. Or you accept your parents fully, you understand them, you love your parents and then you accept them and you are able to let go emotionally whether they change their little habits or not. And that's how you can let go emotionally, stay and stay in a committed relationship. And also, when it comes to your past history, you know, uh, emotionally, you can let go of your past history. You accept your past history, you live with your past history. And the, your past history no longer bother you. And that's how you can physically you feel comfortable with yourself and you accept your past history and accept your past history as the part of you and emotionally you will no longer feel bothered by your own past history and then you feel comfortable in your own skin and that's how you emotionally let go okay so sometimes we can choose to let go both physically and emotionally. Maybe if you are in an abusive relationship, of course, you have to live emotionally, you have to let go physically. But sometimes when we are in a really committed relationship and or uh, in cer certain uh, situation we cannot leave the company immediately, we can choose to emotionally let go. Okay? And that's how you choose uh, to stay physically in a relationship and yet letting go emotionally, letting go of the need to nag them, to change them, and letting go of the need to, um, you know, to uh, change anything. And that's how I see the meaning of letting go. Another thing that you may want to pay attention to is, you know, Letting go comes from the place of love, acceptance, and also understanding. So what do I mean when I say that letting go means coming from love, understanding, and acceptance? It means that you understand your own lessons. And acceptance comes from the way that you accept your own self, you accept that 
certain situation, relationship no longer serve you and you accept who you are, you accept who other people are and you accept there's a difference between you and your former spouse or other people and you no longer feel that both of you staying in a situation are beneficial to both of you and then you end everything with love without hatred okay and everything you let go of the situation you let go of the person with love anything else other than that may not be the full sense of the real meaning of letting go what do i mean by that you know if your letting go comes from the place of fear like the fear of being abandoned by others like uh, in a relationship you feel insecure about the relationship you feel insecure about yourself and you have doubts and then suddenly you want to break out with your boyfriend or girlfriend or you want to have a divorce because of fear of being abandoned sooner or later if you have this fear and then suddenly you you say okay let go that is coming from the fear and that is not true meaning of letting go that is not true letting go that is the false letting go because it comes from the fear and that is not letting go at all that is abandonment and that is escape okay and so um another thing is that when you enjoy watching other people's reaction when you tell them that you let go when you tell them that you need to break up when you enjoy watching their reaction whether it's happiness or sadness from others when you enjoy the reaction from others or when you require some kind of response or reactions from others when you tell them that you want to let go that is not true letting go true letting go means that you no longer need to watch how other people are saying to you and and how other people are responding or how other people are um, reacting you know if you truly let go you do not need to check how their response are or how they react and even you know what is uh, what is uh, another clue is that okay if you tell them that you need to break up and or you leave you want to leave a situation a relationship and if you want to hear them okay oh don't let go don't let go stay stay in this relationship let's make it work and you go you know if you enjoy hearing those words if you enjoy the persuasion from others to persuade you to to stay in a relationship if you enjoy hearing that and then you stay in a relationship that is not letting go okay that is like uh, wanting to get reassurance from others or wanting to uh, trade you know oh if uh, I, I say this and they are going to uh, uh, yield to my own needs or they are going to make a change for me okay if you have this kind of uh, mentality that is not truly letting go and another thing you may want to watch is that um, letting go takes a long process is a uh, th throughout a uh, thought out uh, decision is not coming from some kind of impulsiveness it's not an impulsive decision when you say you want to let go okay uh, so uh, you have to take time to think whether you want to get out of a situation or not and why you need to get our situation well of course if you are in an abusive relationship then do not take long time to think just leave if you are in a physically abusive relationship um yes i hope that now you understand the real meaning of letting go real meaning of letting go comes from understanding 
love and acceptance and it's not from fear okay so i hope that you enjoy this re i hope that you enjoy this video and uh, see you in the next video bye